to go out today. That's for too good. Yeah. Naval orange tree have not popped all the way open yet. But she's slowly opening up. The bees be all around her. Let me tell y'all, I have so much to do since being back from Savannah. So much to do. Oh my gosh. Not only do I have to deal with my plants, but I have to deal, clean out their area. My children were supposed to do it, right? They was feeding them a lot of food and giving them water, but they wasn't dumping things out to feed them and give them water. And they was putting too much water. It's a mess. I just want to throw that whole container away with everything in it because it's a mess. But I am going to put them out there with the big girls today. And this is how they're going to go out there. I think my lowest temp for the next couple of days may be like 49, 48. So these girls going outside. They get out of my garage. They stink. Let's look and see what I have brand new. Hey, DJ Ron. Thanks for coming. Hey, Laura's Garden. Thank you. My bananas are not looking good, y'all. And I don't know what happened. Hey, my Renaissance Grandma. Thank you guys for coming. I don't know what's wrong with my banana babies. I'm going to have to take pictures and send it. Hey, T.A. Flala. Thanks for coming. I'm going to send pictures to Black Tropical and ask them what I need to do. They're not, they're not happy. Like, I don't like that. And this one here, this the latest, the latest one I had to cut. And I don't know, guys. Hey, David. Thanks for coming. My lingo. Let's check out my new babies, y'all. Let's see what I got from Savannah while I was at the Soil Family Expo. First up, if you didn't catch my video with everything I was grabbing, this is first up. This is a Haas avocado. I don't know anything about growing it. Thank you for coming, TX Lala. I don't know anything about growing this, but I'm going to try it out. I'm going to try. It's it's so weird looking. Like, why is it long and stringy? Any of y'all have avocados? It looks so weird, but whatever. Long live. My persimmon. Yeah, the persimmon is leafing out. I don't know anything about growing a persimmon neither, but I'm going to try it out. I wanted one. This is the kind of persimmon it is. I am not about to even murder the name because I know my man up. Yep. This one tree cost me the most money. I just want to throw that out there right now. This is my golden nugget aquat. Right? Let me double check that. I believe it said golden nugget. Yep. Golden nugget loquat. I was so nervous about not being able to get one that I called um, Jigs. Jigs had grabbed this for me from the Lowe's where he lived at. But when I went to the Lowe's in Savannah, they had more of them. Hey, sweet them. Thanks for coming. They had more of them. So I could have got one, but I'm so thankful he grabbed me one just in case I wasn't able to. I don't know anything about Loquat, but y'all see that? That looks nasty to me, like, but he said that's how it grows. Oh, no, that looks a lot nasty, but whatever. Um, what else did I get? Uh, oh, I got some Barbados Sherry. Shout out to Black's Tropical Homestead. They grabbed them for me because, hey, Grown with Hudson, thanks for coming. Barbados cherry, because I was not sure they was going to have any once we got to Savannah. So they grabbed them for me. Hey, Miss Sharon, thanks for coming. And I have a Mexican cream guava. Big shout out to Sherry and Bobby, because they did not have any more of these guavas at the Lowe's or the Home Depot. But guess what? I have one. Yay! Now, all these new trees, I'm going to have to look up 
because I don't know anything about growing up. I also have me, what kind of guava is this? A pink guava. I bought a pink guava from the Lowe's and it got little guavas on it. So guys, I will have a chance to taste this one because it looks like it's going to stay. But I'm happy to know that it's old enough to put out fruit. Let me go check this Mexican cream. I don't see any blooms. I don't know if that's going to be blooms or new leaves. Y'all see that right there? I don't know if that's going to be blooms or new leaves or what that is. I think it's going to be new leaves. Looking at those right there. Yeah, but she looks good. I'm going to up pattern. I have a lot to do. I took off today, y'all. I should have took off yesterday, right? But Monday is one of my longest days. And I was not trying to use up no PTO time too much. So I just took off today. Now, this girl here is leaning. So I'm going to have to, when I up pat her, I'm going to stake her up. Because she got to stop leaning so much. Hey, growing out the box. Thanks for coming. I am showing off my plants I got from Savannah. This here is a golden nugget loquat. This here is my Mexican cream guava. Barbados cherry. How many new trees? One, two, three, four, five, six. I got six new trees. I have two guavas, Mexican green, uh, Mexican cream, and I have the pink guava. And what's crazy thing about the guavas is the Mexican cream is huge, but the pink guava have fruits on it. All the pink guavas I saw in Lowe's had little fruitless on it, and they was all small. So that's weird. Y'all, look at my poor strawberries. I bought these before I left. I don't know what kind of heat or freeze North Carolina got. I think because it got down to like 36 degrees out here. It the cold snap. Hey CC, thanks for coming. I was just watching your video from earlier. That cold snap then got my strawberries looking like they don't love life. They better come on and bounce back. Bag on it. Look at my sweetie pie blackberry. She, she ready. Man, yeah, CC. I hope she bounced back. I was just, so this here, y'all, let me show you these poor little plants here. These poor, poor old plants. So my daughter bought me the cherry bundle from Well Spring Garden. This is what the cherry bundle look like from Well Spring Garden. I don't know. I'm hoping it's still alive and it's gonna come back once it warms up. That's that's what I'm hoping. I don't know what happened to them. Hey, White Side Tactical, thanks for coming. This was a Barbados cherry. This was a Jamaican cherry. This is a Jamaican cherry. One red, one yellow. I don't know which is which anymore. I don't even care. I just wanted to live. So this is the Bobby Pink Guava that I ordered. And yeah, I don't think this is going to do. I mean, she's fine. This is the only plant from Wellspring that is fine. Remind you, I order a papaya. <laughs> oh, she's done. I'm going to bring her outside too, just in case, but I doubt it. This here is my shampoo ginger that I got from Black Tropical Homestead. I'm so happy about her, guys. So, for all the people that's speaking to White Side Tactical, please go over to his... He has an amazing event. My strawberry plant here is going crazy. Look, I have little strawberries. This is the one from last year. I have little strawberries everywhere. Look at my apple trees. Look at my apricot. This is my Moorpark 
yeah, Moore Park Apricot, I think of the name. And she is leafing out. I don't see any blooms, but she's leafing out. This is my golden delicious apple. This thing did not have any blooms or leaves before I left. Look at her now. I'm gonna air, oh, look at the honeybee. Yeah. Go ahead and pollinate, baby. I'm going to um air layer this thing because this thing is tall. Like it's still tall. It's this is still in a pack that I got. Hey Fresh and Fire, thanks for coming. This is still in a pack that I got from um when I got it from Walmart. Same pack. I was supposed to up it and I didn't. I'll be dragging my feet. I need to stop it. I'm gonna get it together one day. And I bought the Golden Delicious to pollinate my Macintosh. Now she was blooming before I left. Um, I'm gonna put them closer together to make sure that she get pollinated. Cause so far, looking at the undersides of the flowers, I don't see anything showing me that it has been pollinated. So even though that one has just blown. But y'all, my peaches, she ready, she ready, she ready. I got peaches everywhere. I'm gonna pull this girl out. Look, and she's still blooming. She still got little buds coming. Look at that. You say it's raining. I hope you're collecting some of that rain, Miss Sharon. Oh, speaking of rain, I just got some wet drops all down my back. <laughs> I guess it's about to rain here too. And I just watered my flowers, everything. That's usually what happens. As soon as I water, it rains, but that's fine. Look, guys. Look at that. Look at that. Them little chickens still going out. Let's go look at these banana trees. I'm so happy about everything. My little backyard is coming to life. Um, my mangoes. I need to unpack one. Malika. Um, Nam Dakma. No. What banana is this? I have it on the stick. This is my Niwa. My Niwa banana. Um, this is my Mazano. Mazano, Mazina, whatever. Banana. This is my Dorf Cavendish. Okay, hold up. Dorf Cavendish, Mazano, Ningwa. So this have to be my um mm. first. I forgot the name of the fourth one I had, but this must be her. But she need to get her life together. A lot of y'all work to be done. I don't know what's going on with this. Because I turn around, saw you walking. I'm like, oh, hey, she. And then you was gone. Y'all popped in and popped out. This is my Calamundin. This thing was loaded. It was loaded. I had to pull all her little fruits off. I might need to cut them pieces. I don't know. I'm going to unpack them too. My she haven't popped all the way open yet. She need to come on bust it open. So um that short is sick. Nah, I I can't touch broke. I don't know why my internet is acting it's acting up like crazy. Something is eating my leaf. What now? I was there earlier, my family was eating. So y'all just came to the breakfast. Yes. Hey, fresh and fire got to see me growing uncut. 
you already know. Um, but yeah, I want the beast to be able to get to it. It was some type of little bee by before, but I don't know. Y'all, this is my little plants. My little plants. I for sure have to get me a greenhouse or build a greenhouse or something with a greenhouse because this stuff is not made for North Carolina weather. I need to unpack this one and this one for sure. I don't know if I'm going to put them in buckets or if I'm going to put it. You know what? I'm tripping. I have big 15-gallon packs for these girls. They going in. And I have to get that filled up. Lord, my little goji berry need to be potted up. And my little nanking cherry. This was coming out the box. It's not my pockets. It's coming out the box, so I got it. But that's down back. But now it has things coming out everywhere. Thank you, Fresh and Fire. Um, I am East North Carolina, Northeast, I guess you could say, because I am right by Emporia, Virginia. I don't know. Make me lie to you. All I know is North Carolina. But I think I'm Northeast, to be honest with you, Miss Sharon. My bananas, I put them in my garage and my citrus trees. They all go in my garage. I need some grow light. I really cannot remember the name of this banana, y'all. All I know is that she's pissing me off, and she better get it together. Because I want some bananas. Mm, that's bad. I can't remember the name. After this live, I'm going back to bed. It's about to rain out here. I'm going to go get right back in bed. And we're not even going to talk about all my seeds I need to drop. We're not going to talk about that. I'm really excited about this because I always see people talking good about this guava. So, fingers crossed, guys. I get me some guava. Guava, guava. I never tasted it before. But I'm still excited about it. Uh, I think I'm going to spray her down. Because I don't know what that is. But all my new plants going to get sprayed down. With a mixture of things I put together. Try to kill any bugs. And then the ladybugs will come out here and help me out. So, And I really cannot wait to taste this. Barbados cherry. So I hope it blooms fast. Hey, Lachey Journey. Thanks for coming. I'm just showing off my little plants. I went to the Soil Family Expo and I have new babies. Barbados cherry. Mexican guava. Avocado. Low quad, persimmon. I think the persimmon would do fine in my area. I think, let's see, what do this say? Because I ain't look at no tags. Oh, it's cold hardy. So, and it needs to freeze if I'm not mistaken. So I don't have to protect this at all. So, Miss Sharon, I am... I'm 7B North Carolina. You know the zones just changed. So they claim that I'm 8A now, but I'm still going to protect my stuff. I'm still going to protect all of my plants like I'm 7B. Y'all, I can't get my words out. See, I just need to go get back in bed because the words ain't coming out like they're supposed to. I'm spraying everything down. Is that a fuzz? Hey, y'all, this is fuzzy. That is weird. It's no bugs. It's just fuzzy. I need to do my research on these plants because I don't know nothing about them. I just see people talking about how good they taste. So, And this here is my big girl. This is my fig. I, look, I need to go to bed. I can't think of the name of the plant. Lord have mercy. This is my fig. Why are you dying back over here on this side? What is going on with your life? 
what happened? Everybody else fine except for you. I cut you off now. You better get it together. This is my, um, what's the name of this one? Valet de Bordeaux fig. I tasted fig for the first time last year and it was good. Well, that's awesome. And I think, um, did your guava have fruitlets on it? Listen, your husband was like, go ahead, Shawnee. Don't don't say nothing. Go, Shawnee, go. Because I found some bananas on the side of the store and they was like $13.98 or something like that. He was like, we ain't got no more room. I don't know how we're going to fit these in. No, Shawnee, go. <laughs> I was like, hold on, let me go outside. I might go find something outside too. <laughs> My blackberry, I tasted a couple of those. They was okay. I want to taste these little things. I hope they're not dead. Hey, bro, big TV. Thank you for coming. I hope it's not dead. I see a little life left in it. It's a little life left. What is the world? It's them little black things. Y'all see that? Some bugs. The bugs are stopping already. Lord. But I hope it's still alive. I want to taste it. And this is the Bobby Pink Guava. So I don't know if it's the same as this pink guava over here, but I guess I'll find out soon, huh? I hope my strawberries don't die. I really hope they don't die. I paid $15 for these things before I left. What the roots looking like? I think it might be okay. I need to root these, um, These little runners, plenty of runners, plenty of runners. Yes, the North Carolina bugs seem like they never went away, to be honest. Yeah, I'm going to give it some fish fertilizer. Oh, no, something been eating the leaves over here. I leave for three days. Oh, I got a caterpillar on there. That's what that is, snub buddy. Yeah, I see that. These things are so disrespectful. Look, why is it eating? Hey, Bamit. Thank you. Why is this caterpillar eating up my plants? Like, what is going on? I thought it only things lay eggs. It lay eggs on my strawberry plant. Now I got to look for a sibling. Because if it's one, it's always more. But this is the only leaf I see that has been eaten on. Whoop, okay. Gonna be chill. Y'all try that BK? Okay. This will have a few holes. These bugs are terrible already. Already. Is it a caterpillar or inchworm? Y'all, Bamit was there shopping with me. We was racing to uh, Home Depot and Lowe's. He said, well, I guess I'll go to Lowe's now. I said, I'll beat you there. It was plant time. I'm trying to get this little dumb thing so I can feed him to my, my baby chickens. If he come on, get on a stick, because I don't have no gloves. And I don't pick up bugs without no gloves on. I can tell y'all that right now. Okay. Bam. Got him. Got some chicken food. My phone is not going to focus. Let's go feed him to my chickens. Because he done lost his mind. He done came to the wrong place. Well, y'all, I thought it was going to rain. And I was going to be able to go lay down some more. But it stopped. I don't know what's up with my internet. This internet is tripping. Well, thank you, Bamit. Enjoy your company, too. It, it hasn't started raining here yet. It's drip dropping a little bit. And I know I'm not too far from you guys, so that means it's coming my way soon. I was trying to show y'all me feeding that little worm to my chicken. My chickens, but it cut out for some reason. 
So that means I'm about to come out here and check all my plants good and make sure nothing else has any um more worms on them. This little fuzzy leaf is tripping me out. This one is not fuzzy, but this is. That's a little fuzzy. Hmm. I got to figure out what it needs so I don't get any more of that copper look. What does she say? Oh, yeah, Fresh and Fire. Bamit, when Bamit pulled up, I was helping a couple fit this big old tree in that little old trunk. They had to put down the seats of their car and everything. And he's like, how do you beat me over here? It's like, hey, I'll be moving. They had this little Toyota Corolla in this big old tree. The guy was like, you want to take it back, honey? It's not going to fit. The wife was like, no, no, it's going to fit. I was like, come on, let me help you out. I gave him a bag to wrap around the bottom. Oh, speaking of bags, shout out to Fresh from Fresh and Fire because them bags came through. I did not have no dirt in the back of my truck because, Lord, that would have been a mess to clean up. Big shout out to you for your bags. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, you said she be moving. Yeah, I be moving. I got to Lowe's and I spread the word. Ooh, what that little... I love these little bees. They're the cutest. I got to Lowe's and spread the word to everyone. Come on, go to Lowe's. This is where the prices are at and the plant. Because Home Depot was tripping. Like, I don't know what's up with them and their prices, but just a little bit down the road and you right there, Lowe's, for a whole lot cheaper. Now, I will say I will say that the, the latte tree that was like $90, I was so tempted to buy it. Oh my gosh. I'm kicking myself right now for not grabbing it. But it really wasn't the one I wanted. If it was the sweetheart, I think I would have got it. Y'all, this bumblebee, carpenter bee, whatever it is, it's not like me being by my tree. And it best to chill. If it wants to keep living. Where the little bee go at? They are so cute. I was supposed to unpack these trees. Mm, 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 mm. I haven't did nothing. I'm going to get a move on this winter though. I got to get her thick. Because I want some fruit. I got to get her thick. More park apricot. I love apricots. They are so delicious. But she got little new shoots coming out everywhere. I'm so excited about. As a matter of fact, I might be getting more trees. Well, bye, CC. Thank you for coming. I'm not going to be on too much longer. Not too much longer. I need to go inside, lay back down. I need to go grocery shopping. For these kids. Find out what I'm going to cook. But she is leafing out good. I don't know when she fruit. I have so much research to do with all these new plants I have. But I'm for sure going to check them out. These flowers are so pretty. I, I believe apple flowers are prettier than the rose. I had to get that giant and be a fig. Yep, all you got to do is pinch off the tips. I follow somebody that do figs and they were talking about pinching off the new growth and make them fruit faster and give them a whole bunch of um, phosphorus, I think it is. All right, Bam, I'll see you at seven. I'll be there. But this is my big girl. I need to take some cuttings of her. For some reason, the ants decided to move in so she could handle all the water. I need to keep drowning them and find me something to put in there because I don't know why they decided to move in, but they has to go. Like, I don't get it. This was my sweetie pie strawberry, but it ain't, it ain't come back. 
So I'm gonna put something else in there. Hopefully I'll be dropping my seeds today, depending on how good that bed feel. I did do my chickens, I did my dog. I need to go over there and do those girls. They was hollering at me not too long ago. And I need to fix this mess right here. My dad on raised bed fell in. I think it's about five or six years old. So I have to take everything out of there. I just put all the chicken stuff in there. When I clean out the chicken coops and mix it in good with the dirt. <sighs> I have to fix that. But that's what I'm going to screen in. I put my fruit trees in. But when them June bugs come, they won't be eating on anything. My strawberries going in there. I'm putting my blackberries. Yeah, all my fruit trees are going in there. Not only because of the um, June bugs, but for the hummingbird. The hummingbird and the regular birds like eating the fruit too. So, yep. Thank you guys for coming. I appreciate y'all sticking around with my crazy internet acting up. I don't know what's going on with it. I wanted to walk and talk more, but my internet is not letting me be great. So, there might be a sign. Take my butt in the house and lay down <laughs> a little bit more so I can enjoy this day off. Yeah, um, my blackberries, they love my blackberries. I think I got maybe like two blackberries off of this the whole summer last summer because they were tearing it up. But guys, I am leaving. Thank you for coming. I will do a video on my seeds I plant. And of course, of course. Sound like a Miss T excuse. Nah, I ain't I don't need no excuses. My bed is calling. I ain't gonna lie to you. But of course, guys, y'all will get updates on all of this. All of this. Next time I come out here, hey Riri. Girl, I'm about to get off of here and you just popped in. You you catching me at the end. I'm going to do a quick run through just because you just popped in. So it's like my internet. I don't know. I don't know. My blueberry, blueberry bush. It is loaded. Hopefully, I get a bunch of blueberries. I had to put her over here because she kept falling over. I think that's why that bee's so mad, too. Because it was over right here where these plants are. But I moved her. But... Quick rundown, apple tree, um, Macintosh apple. I was looking at that, my poor apple tree. I don't know what's going on with it. I'm a um, air layer her too, but Macintosh apple tree, my Alberta peach. Hopefully I will have a chance to taste her this year. Y'all see all that? She's loaded. He is loaded. I need to feed her some fertilizer too. But she is loaded with peaches. I better at least get one off this year. Two or something. This girl here bloomed while I was away. I'm happy about that because I need her to pollinate my Macintosh. Other than that, I won't get no apples from her. But I will get apples from her. This is my Moorpark apricot. I don't know um, when or if she will bloom, but I have it. Barbados cherry. Now, Riri, they didn't have this where we was at. Mexican cream guava. I think they sold out. Black Tropical grabbed that for me weeks ago. Maybe, maybe a month ago even. But she don't have no... Um, Blooms on her, but she look good. I'm happy I have her. And you know all the rest of the stuff I got. Loquat, persimmon, avocado. Yeah. And we're going to walk back up here towards my garage because I'm about to get my butt in bed. Yeah, it's supposed to be really good. It's supposed to be really good. Mangoes. Malika mango, this is the one that bloomed, and I cut her off, cut her bloom off, because she's too small. 
my Malika, my name Doc, my Mona Lisa, I'm sorry, Mona Lisa, Ningwa, Mazano, Dwarf Cap, Goji Berry, Nanking Cherry, Kalamundin, Navel Orange. That is my little rundown, guys. I am out of here. Thank you for coming. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.